So in order to activate this branch, there's an invisible trigger right about there. Once you cross this line, it starts going up and down. You have to make sure that you're not activating it too early. If you try to take the most optimal line right to the door, you're going to activate it way too early and you're not going to be able to make it underneath. Conversely, if you take too safe of a line, you're going to make it by a mile and then waste a bunch of time. The ideal approach should look something like this. Notice how I jumped there. If you jump, the branch has a less of a chance of hitting you. Its hitbox is on the ground. So if you jump, it has a hard time hitting you. See how it didn't hit me there until I landed. Whereas if I had just stood in its way, it hits you immediately. Continuing on, you want to make sure you're jumping into these little ledges here to get this short animation. If you just walk into them, you have this long animation of Harry just climbing up. That takes extra time. So you just come over here and you shoot the Lumos. You jump into both the ledges. There's actually a cutscene trigger right in this hallway. And you want to just walk right into it and then hold double forward and double right. That's the fastest way through it. Just like this. That way you avoid grabbing the save book. You can jump over the trigger if you'd like, but it doesn't really save any time. Once you come over here, you're going to jump and then hit the flipendo and then grab the block and do a moving object boost. So what I did there, I'll show it off again. You're going to look downwards in midair and shoot the flipendo and then jump immediately so it launches you right into the ledge. Now here's the skip on this map. It's called branch jump. You'll notice that on the other side of this wall, there actually is a branch and it has collision. So you can get on it if you jump around the wall. The way I like to do it is take an angle kind of like this, pretty shallow. And then I run towards the edge, jump off at the very end, and then hold double right, like this. That should get you on pretty consistently. I made it look very easy there, but it might take you a few tries to get it. Some of the key features to making this work are having the right angle. If you go at too steep of an angle, you're going to have a very hard time making it onto the branch. Also, if you jump too early, you're also going to have a bad time. So you want to jump as late as possible. And then you hold double right. And don't forget to actually let go of forward, because that makes you accelerate to the right faster. If you hold double right and forward, it doesn't work quite as well. The main thing to keep in mind here is to delay your jump as late as possible. That way you've got the best chance of actually getting onto the branch. Also, even though I do spell tech here, you don't need it to perform the trick. The branch is actually very close to the other side of the wall, so you don't strictly need it. So if it just distracts you, don't worry about spamming spell cast in the air. You can definitely make it without it. Once you're on the branch, you'll notice that its collision doesn't match up to its view model. Same is true for all the other branches, so just you have to kind of memorize where you can stand and where you can't stand. So you make your way along the branch over here and you're going to transfer to this one. And you're going to go towards the wall. There's actually an invisible piece of collision here that you're going to stand on. It's right above, it's kind of right where this torch is. That's how you can tell where it is. Come on over here, just do a little jump onto the invisible collision, and then jump again to get up. Now, when you're making up the steep slope, it's too steep for Harry to walk on. So what you want to do is face directly up it, and then jump right when you're about to hit it. Spell tech does help here, as it lets you get up more easily. Or at least more quickly. Once you are up, you want to just turn around and head towards the end.